The following portion of Daytime is sponsored by Moffitt Cancer Center. An important and often overlooked complication of metastatic cancer is leptomeningeal disease, or LMD. The experts at Moffitt Cancer Center specialize in treating this condition, and here to share more is the chair of the neuro-oncology program, Dr. Peter Forsyth. Doctor, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much for having me. Let's start with the basics because I feel like maybe people haven't heard of leptomeningeal disease, or LMD. What is it and what types of cancers can lead to this condition? Yeah, it's a great question. It's an unusual form of metastasis, so the tumor cells can go to the covering of the brain and spine rather than to the middle of it. It's pretty serious. The prognosis is not very good, a matter of weeks or a couple months. And the most common cancers are breast cancer, lung cancer, melanoma, and blood cancers. Particularly disturbing with all the young people that are getting cancer these days. Mm, absolutely, so what are the symptoms that patients should look out for, the symptoms of LMD? Yeah, it's, they're pretty nonspecific, so headaches, you know, visual changes, trouble walking, a little weakness, you know, and a lot of people have those symptoms, so you know, they're a bit vague, but certainly if you have cancer, I think you really wanna pay attention to those things if they're new, because this might be what's going on or maybe a brain metastasis or something. And given the severity of LMD, what are the latest treatment options that you offer and are there any clinical trials happening? Yeah, so the traditional uh, treatments are to use radiation therapy, which is very effective, and then chemotherapy, which you can put directly into the spinal fluid. And then the things that we're really excited about is using the power and science of Moffitt, where there were global leaders in immunocellular therapies. So to, to put that in English, you know, yes. it's, where you, it's where you can take the patient's own uh, immune cells out of their vein, for example, and then you can grow them in a dish so they're active and angry and wanna kill tumors. But being angry and wanting to kill tumors isn't enough, so we also put little protein, the patient's tumor proteins in there, so, and it educates them to specifically attack those. So it's mm. kind of giving a, a homing device, you know, on your immune system, and it looks like it's working pretty well. Targeted and, treatment. Yeah, targeted and using your own, rather than a chemical yes. or radiation or something, it uses your own immune system. So it's extremely, you know, exciting. Um, it re and it really marries the science and the understanding with trying to develop better treatments. So it's pretty cool. Do patients need a referral to be treated at, at Moffitt? Yeah, de definitely. I think they, well, I don't think they could just show up as far as I'm concerned, but I think they probably should be referred. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. And for more information, you can visit moffitt.org slash brain cancer. Daytime will be right back. The preceding portion of Daytime was sponsored by Moffitt Cancer Center. 